So in this video what I'm going to do is do a walkthrough of the duplicates algorithm showing you how to build up um, an algorithm that will check how many duplicates there are in an array. Um, in this idea I'm going to do a 20 item array as you can see here. I've already set up some variables that I'm ready to go so let's get started. The first thing I need to do is to create the array of 20 random numbers. You can see the array is created there so let's populate the array. Oops. There we go. So if I run this, I'll get an array of 20 numbers between 1 and 9. And there we go. There's our 20 numbers between 1 and 9. So the next step, we need to print out each item in turn. Now you have to bear with me because I'm copying and pasting from a previous algorithm here. Okay. So this is the bit just loops through the array and prints out each item in turn. So if I run it you can see there's my array of numbers and I'm printing it out each one in turn. Now what I need to do is take that line and compare it with all the other items in the list I then take that one and prepare it all the items in the list and so on. So I need a loop inside this loop that's going to check and compare each item against all the others in the list. So let's see how we do that. So what we've got here is another loop, and I've got an output to show you what it's doing. It's going to take, print each item in turn, and then next to it, print each other item in the list so we're ready to do our comparison. So if we run that, we can see at the start, there's the 8, and I'm comparing the 8 against the 6, against the 6, against the 0, and so on, and so on, and so on. And I've got the 6 next item, and I can compare that against every other item. And there's the next 6 compare it against the other item and it's doing that for every item in the array. So now I have that my next step is to identify if these match if, like here to see if we have any duplicates. So let's deal with that. So to do that I'm going to need an if statement. So here's the if statement, so if the numbers in the array match the second number duplicate found. So if I run it, you can see one number against one, I don't know, duplicate found, duplicate found, duplicate found, and so on. Now the problem we have next is that there are multiple duplicates of the same number and we only want to store it once. So we need to store the number that we've just found in our duplicates array. So to do that we need to do a little bit of trickery. Okay, so once the number's been found, we've got the duplicate. I'm going to check if the duplicate em array is empty, and if it's empty, I'm going to put that value we've just found in the duplicates array and increase its pointer if we're ready for the next item. So let's run it, and you'll see one was duplicated, one was been put in the pointer. Now, for every other item, I have to check when I find it if it exists in here as well. If it exists in here, I don't want to store it. If it doesn't exist in here, I do want to store it. Then we get all the unique duplicates. So let's deal with that bit. Now I'm going to set a flag. Get this in the right place. And copy this little bit from another algorithm. So what's going to happen is 
finds the first one, places it in the algorithm, in the duplicates array. Finds the next one, if it doesn't exist already, set the flag to true, replace that item, the new item, in the list. So it can only place it once. So if it's first item in the list, straight in. Second item in the list, it will check if that exists already. If it's already got it, it'll say so. And not place it. If it hasn't got it, it'll place it in the array. So let's have a look at that step. So if you run it, you can see there's some examples in here somewhere. Uh, duplicate found, already got this one. Don't record it. Duplicate found, already got this one. Duplicate found, put it in the array. So we can see as we build up, duplicate found, placed it in. Duplicate found, already got this one. And you can see here, look, there's my 20 values, and it's found one, two, three, four, five, six in this case, duplicate values, but it's only stored them once. So our next job is to count how many items we've got, output it as our total list of duplicates, and create a little for loop to output each item that was duplicated. So let's just finish that little bit off. Let's go to the end of our algorithm. So the pointer that we set up earlier Every time we add one into our duplicates, we increase the pointer. So that tells us how many duplicates there are. So we'll print like that. Do a little for loop for that duplicate size, the size of that array, and output each item in it. So let's run this for the last time. We can see there's all our duplicates being found. We must have some examples of what we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in this case seven values and they are two four five six one three eight so it's all working so that was a little walkthrough if we just go through it quickly this first bit populates the array this bit prints out each item in turn this bit prints each item in turn again but then compares the two values against each other so you go through the array, you get the first one, and you're comparing it against all of the others in the array. So there's the, the comparison. If it finds it, if it's the first time it's found something, it places it in the duplicate array, puts the two in there. If it's not the first time it's found something, it comes down here, and it'll go through this array checking that the number you just found hasn't already been found before. Okay. If it is, already found that one. It says, oh, we found it. If it's not in there, it puts it in there for us. So we can only put the, the value in the duplicate array once. And then finally, print out our response, loop through the array, and print out how many items or which of those um, items have been duplicated. So I hope that helps explain how that algorithm works. If you've got any more questions, feel free to ask. If you found that useful, like and subscribe, and feel free to buy me a coffee.